Rethink the Rank. That's the special program we're talking about right now, and it's a really absolutely fascinating ways in which to make hockey much safer for all to play. And our special guest today, David Morehouse, the president and CEO of the Pittsburgh Penguins, and Jerry McCleary, the chairman and CEO of Cavestro, which is the successor to Bayer in this area of polymers Correct. and science. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate mm -hmm. both of you being on the show. So what I, as I said earlier, what I really like about what you guys are doing is that you're bringing in students to mm -hmm. be part of the development of new technology to make these mm -hmm. hockey rinks safer. And you had a program just a couple weeks ago, I believe, with CMU engineering students okay. who came up with some ideas on how to make the hockey rink a safer place to play sport. So, Mr. Morehouse, what did mm -hmm. you find? Anything that really intrigued you? Well, first of all, as Jerry said it earlier, to, to have the world-class universities we have in Pittsburgh here is, is a tremendous opportunity for us. And we've worked with Carnegie Mellon before in developing technology, and Covestro has, has had these make before. They had them in mm -hmm. Europe right. where they brought students in to come up with ideas. So they suggested the idea to us of partnering with Carnegie Mellon. These students came together. And there were six teams, and they all came up with different ideas. Wow. And, and the, 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 like I said before, they were all usable. Uh, the one I liked the best had, had a hard exterior, a really thin polymer, and then it had a foam backing. So that if you hit the, the hard exterior with a puck, right. it would still react as if it's hitting the hard boards that we currently have. But if you pressed on it, it had give. It would, so, so if someone hit it, with force, a person hit it, it would have some give. And 30% thir of all hockey injuries are, are board related, so. Are they really that yeah, many? Yeah. I, I'm not surprised. So the bottom line is that, uh, Jerry, if this technology works, you'd still have the, it wouldn't affect how the puck moves right, correct. when you hit a puck against the side, which of course there's right. strategy involved in right. that, as yeah. you know. And so you don't want to destroy that strategy. But at the okay. same time, if a body hits it, yes. it gives. Is this a, can you make this a reality? These are kids coming up with, with ideas. Huh? Can you uh, actually put this into practice? Well, there's no doubt now. And think about it, just in three and a half days, these 25 students came together, didn't even know each other. Yeah. And they came up with concepts. They had to build a prototype to show it to us and give us some science behind it. But yeah, the, not, we gave them boundaries. Number one boundary was the integrity of hockey. It can't change. It can improve, but it can't get worse. So the, the puck had to hit off the kickboard and off the boards and also react the same. Right. So, but the, the key was how do we absorb the energy when the players hit it? But also we respond back, the boards respond back in place. And there's a lot of different materials that can do that. They came up with technology and concepts that we believe very strongly that we can keep the integrity of hockey, but also reduce the energy that when the hockey players hit the boards. Gotcha. Were yeah. there other ideas that uh, oh. fascinated you? Yeah, well, we thought the sensors. Yeah, there yeah. was sensors. One, one other group had embedded <laughs> sensors into the glass yeah. uh, where you, you could actually measure the force that the glass is being hit with and you can, mm -hmm. and they, they developed an app in three and a half days, and you can tell which player hit yeah. at which point on the rink and what the force was. Right. Now, what now, would that be valuable for? Well, I'll tell you who really valued it was our doctor. <laughs> doctor so, yeah. so, so Dr. Vias, when he was looking at all the different displays, mm -hmm. he, was already, he was writing things down. What right. it can do for our doctor is he can then see if a player hits the glass at a certain force and doesn't say anything right. and doesn't report that anything is oh, wrong. Oh, I he see. can then go back and check the player and say, well, you hit with X amount of force. There's something going on here. We need uh, to check you out. Right, yeah. because, because the players naturally want to keep playing yes. and may not yeah. necessarily Ex report the injuries that they've right. sustained. Exactly. Right. You know. well, what about the, uh, the, the, is it plastic uh, that's yeah, it's used plexiglass, to yes. protect mm -hmm. the public? Mm -hmm. Uh, is there, are there changes or should there be changes made in that or are we protecting the public, you know, those who are there, the patrons who, who care and want, they want to be able to see, they don't want stuff that interferes with their vision, right. but at the same time you want to protect them. Yeah, some of the, some, the suggestions had, had something to do with the glass also, like we talked about the, the sensors, but, the, but the, the, the other ones were that the glass would move a bit. When it, when it got hit, so there would be an absorption of, of the force. Right. <clears throat> it wouldn't move enough to knock the person watching the game over, mm -hmm. but there's, there's enough space in the, the width of a board that if the glass you know, came in two or three inches, gotcha. it would yeah. reduce a certain percentage of the injuries. Absolutely fascinating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, 
timetable. <laughs> when are we going to say, can we yeah. see some of this stuff? I know there's a, obviously there's a time between uh, idea and production, right. but uh, might we see some changes? And can you do this unilaterally, Dave, without going through the N N oh. NHL or can, yeah, I don't we, know how that works. Yeah, we can do it unilaterally in our practice rink. Uh, mm -hmm. And we've done other things there. So, so, so I mean, the, the whole reason we built the UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex was right. to do research on hockey related injuries, hockey training, right. and this is one element. We can put those boards and use them as a test site at our secondary rink at, at UPMC Lemieux and, and Cranberry. At, yeah. at the timetable again, Jerry? I guess well, that's to you. Well, we got momentum. We're not going to lose the momentum. And right. I think what's important is our, our groups have already, our people got together and talked. They already gave to me an outline for meet next week so we can get together <laughs> and talk about the next stage. So right. you have a lot of interest. A lot of the students go, hey, we want to continue this. So we bring these ideas together. And they have other ideas because they're still thinking about it, what else they could do. I would say we'll go through this and then we'll see what we come up with. We'll make a prototype and we'll put it up at uh, right. their practice uh, arena up in, in Cranberry. And, and then to get it into the actual arena, uh, to PPG, you, you're going to have to get approval from the National Hockey League? Does, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't see any problem with that. I mean, once we get it in, first of all, we have to get together. Then we have to develop it. Then we have to put the, the beta test together mm -hmm, sure. in Cranberry. And, and we'd have to measure to see, see if it reacts the same way. I, I, I just but, love it. I, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for sharing time with us. This is a fabulous mm -hmm. uh, program that you guys have, have really engaged in. And it's not going to be helpful just to the Penguins, no. but to our kids and all the, all youth, the folks yeah, yeah. who play hockey. And there are a ton of them, more so than ever before. Right. Final word, Dave, obviously, <laughs> Stanley Cup. That, we're going to give it another shot. That's what we're here for. Well, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, when you have a hockey player uh, like Sid, who plays hockey like baseball and just hits that <laughs> puck in. I think that's fabulous. Just great. No, we have, a, we have a good group of players. We have a great general manager, great ownership, great coach. Uh, we have all the ingredients to try to do it again. Uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to give it a good shot. Uh, I know you'll do it a good, give it a good shot, and I particularly appreciate that you want to do it as safely as possible. Right, so, correct. gentlemen, thank you, sir, very much for joining us. We much thank you. Thank it. you. When the Sunday business page continues, we'll tell you about an exciting new KDKA-TV initiative, Eye on the Community, Beaver County.